Praise the Lord, saints of God, body of Christ, body of Christ. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is April 5th, 2023. And the Lord gave me a message to give unto you all. But before I bring forth this message, we need to pray because the enemy does not want me to bring forth this message. I want you to all listen, receive, and obey. For it is a message that you must receive in your heart, soul, mind, and spirit. So listen, receive, and obey. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we come before you, precious King, to thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace. To thank you for this message that you gave unto me last night during prayer, Father. I thank you and I praise and glorify your name above all names. Even though sometimes it is hard to bring forth your messages, Father God, but I do it out of obedience. For you say in your word, obedience is better than sacrifice. My Lord and my King, you obeyed the Father all the way up to the cross. Lord Jesus, that I may be obedient unto you, my Lord and my King. For these things that you have told me shall come to pass. And all who have ears to hear, eyes to see, and a heart to receive, can and will see these things coming to pass already father in heaven blessed be thy name forever and ever all honor and glory and praise and thanksgiving are given unto you by us all through our hearts so mind and spirit in jesus name amen The end of all flesh has come to me. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. I am He who has come in the flesh. I say unto all, watch and pray that ye be found worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. For I have said many times, the end of all flesh has come up to me, to my throne, and I am coming to destroy this current world as I destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah and brought the flood during my prophet Noah, Noah's days. Only he and his three sons and his wife and his son's wives escaped the flood. In Lot's days, only Lot and his two daughters escaped, for the wife did not make it out completely. But Lot and his two daughters escaped the fiery furnace of Sodom and Gomorrah. I am a righteous and holy God, a just and perfect God, and when I say I will come and destroy this world, I will do it, for I have spoken it. I, Jesus Christ, the Son of the true and living God, has been given all power and judgment upon this earth to destroy the earth, to, to destroy the evil and wicked people from this world my children hear my words i am a god of fire and of wrath repent and make yourselves right with me give unto me all of your heart soul and spirit and obey my laws I am coming, ye all can feel me and my spirit and bride can feel me 
and my spirit and my bride says come and all who will drink the water of life says come Lord Jesus Christ come love Yeshua Hamashiach your father and king time 10 30 p.m. 10 means the kingdom is coming when Jesus spoke these words to me he was very serious he is coming to destroy this world he told me the sins of this world are worse than Sodom and Gomorrah and his prophets and his prophet Noah in his days and then he gave me scripture Matthew 24 37 38 Genesis 19 23 to 30 Genesis 4 4 to 22 Genesis 6 or yeah 6 7 to 13 and God said unto Noah the end of all flesh is come before me for the earth is filled with violence through them and behold I will destroy them with the earth He's going to do it, brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ. He's had it up to his nostrils, he said. No more, no more, no more. Be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready. For they, these things are going to come. Will you be left behind or will you be caught up? That is the question that you should be asking yourselves. Are you ready to meet our beautiful maker, our creator, the lover of our hearts, I mean the lover of our souls and the keeper of our hearts? Are you ready, truly, truly ready to meet him in the air? Shalom, be blessed. And we are out of here. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now. Be blessed.